Yeah, I've been out with you. I've been out with Bill Cogno. I've been out with a couple of other officers in the, in the last several years where we've gone to campsites as an outreach. And I, I as a pastor, right? So we're kind of going together like this mm-hmm. this, this uh, team, right? And we go out. And there's been times where I've actually have seen things where, you know, I mean, if, if you're with somebody who wants to be kind of a hard nose, I mean, there are, there are definitely arrestable offenses. And yeah. I've seen officers go, hey, look, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here because I want to introduce you to Pastor Dave and I want to let you know that we want to see you have a better life. And when I've seen that, I, I've actually been witness to that. And what I've seen is, is that they're like, oh my gosh, like it's not all about like the, the arrest. Yeah. It, it, they do care. And, and, and it's not like it's a one-time thing. This has been something that's been kind of repeated throughout a lot of officers that could literally go out and, and arrest tons of people all day long. But they've said, hey, look, that's not what I'm here for. You know, here they've given my card out. I've gotten phone calls and referrals from people that have shown up for dinner because a Redwood City police officer gave them my card. So yeah. I, I, I say that because thank you, because that's actually been um, kind of a, a, a an easier road for us, I think, all around mm-hmm. to see that. Um, but I also wanted to ask you, like, has, has there have you been um, out on the street where you've seen like a success? Have you seen something where you? kind of uh, called either street life or life moves or mental health or just all of us and, and you've watched somebody's life transform? It happens all the time, actually. Yeah. Um, between your help, between life moves, Fair Oaks, everybody, all the partners, um, I've, I've seen it. Just last week, I was sent a picture of um, a subject that I've been dealing with. He was probably one of the first that I that I really met when I started. I won't say his name, but I'll tell you where he was kind of at. Um, he was hanging out there by the Kmart right there on, um, on Walnut. And I met him when I first got into the program as community policing officer. And his first comment to me, not his first, but one of our first conversation, he basically told me, no, why, why would I get a job when I get everything free? Um, <laughs> and I was like, well, you know, we had that conversation and one thing led to another. Anyways, um, that was back in January. Last week I got a photo, fo- I was sent a photograph of him signing his his lease agreement for um, a studio apartment that he got. That's awesome. So, you know, and, and during that time, I probably had at least 50 contacts with him, you know, casual conversations. Hey, how are things going? Hey, are you ready to get off the street? Are you ready to transition and, and stuff like that? And, you know, sometimes he would tell me yes. Other times he would tell me no. Um, but last week, looks like he finally said yes, and he's now off the street. So... Um, and this happens all the time. Um, I hear success stories from you. Uh, I hear success success stories from uh, Life Moves. It happens all the time. This is what you guys are here to do. Um, and I really, us as a police department, we put a lot of weight on your guys' shoulders because you guys are the ones that are going out there taking them to look at apartments or at studios to, to get their um, IDs if they need them or whatever. You guys are making stuff happen. I don't have time to do that stuff, but this is where I rely on the support from you guys to make that happen. And, and you guys follow through every single time. So, <laughs> so the partnership, <laughs> the partnership is, is, is incredible. Honestly, um, I don't, I can't speak for every single department. I could speak um, to a little bit of San Jose and then what I've seen here and then our neighboring cities. And honestly, I think the partnership that we have here is probably uh, probably the best that around, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I, I will say, I mean, I know I'm pretty biased. I'm born and raised in Redwood City. But I think Redwood <laughs> City Police Department is like by far the best police department anywhere I've ever seen. Um, but like I said, I'm pretty biased for, for the most part. But I think overall, overall from... The 13 years I've been doing this, I, I, I go to the East Bay a lot. I go to Santa Clara County a lot. And I would have to say that San Mateo County is probably number one when it comes to uh, coming together as a community. I think I think San Jose and Santa Clara County is is doing a great job mm-hmm. uh, stepping up. I mean, they, they have a, a definitely a lot more territory. I mean, I go to San Jose and it's, it's unbelievable that the campsites, because it, it's so spread out. It's, it's yeah. a valley, right? So it's, 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 it's a huge problem. Um, to 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 deal with because you you just never know where where it's going to end because it's all over the place. I yeah. think San Mateo County is pretty big. I've I've noticed that the the coast side is getting um, inundated with our folks on the street, and the sheriff's department is actually trying to do their job 
to the same thing. They've, they've been calling us a, a quite a bit. You know, they have the PERT program and yeah. they do a lot of uh, different um, uh, things. But as, as we kind of get ready to kind of close up here, you know, I, um, I know that I, especially with the podcast and our Facebook stuff, I, I always uh, kind of jump on social media when I hear people, you know, um, you know the, the, the not in my backyard comments, right? And so I always just put our website out there and say, hey, listen, you know, if you... You know, if you if you want to be a part of the, the the solution to it, you know, you can always sign up to volunteer or cook or drive or even you know even if you want to come out with me and do outreach, we're more than willing to let people come with us into campsites and stuff like that. And you know, and that's a little bit more. I'm a little bit more safeguarded with that, but I I'm more than willing to let people come out because I've realized over the years that the folks that we're working with, they're like that's like my brother, that's my uncle, that's my grandfather. I mean, yeah. you get to know these people intimately and personal, and you realize like nobody's they're no different they're just stuck you know and and um so what would you say to like people in redwood city where you filter through a lot of the, your communications um that are just they're frustrated or they're saying just you know end this just get it out of my my city what would what are some things that you could say to people that are feeling that way so the homeless problem in redwood city guess what it's not a redwood city problem this the homeless problem is a problem statewide mm-hmm. right um, the one big thing I would say to anybody in the community in Redwood City is if you don't know before you start getting all frustrated and, and start, you know, um, spreading false rumors or whatever the case is, call us, talk to us and ask us questions of what exactly is going on. I'll tell you what the issues are. I'll tell you what we're doing, why we can't do this, why we can do this or whatever the case is. Um, you know, our our hands are sometimes tied, and that's the reality of the situation. But why? I could tell you that. Mm-hmm. You know, just ask. I, I'm I'm straight up with everybody. I don't sugarcoat anything. I, I tell people like it is, um, and that's that's my my motto. And I think it's worked for me very well. So, just communicate with us. Come and learn why we do what we do. Come and learn why Pastor Dave does why he do, <laughs> what he does uh, when he does it, and all that stuff. Right? We're 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 all here to help. We're all here to educate um, and maybe go talk to one of these guys on the street and they'll tell you why they landed in that position or or why they're stuck in that position, why, um, you know, they can't transition and get housing and stuff like that. There's always an obstacle, um, but they could overcome those, too. And that's where we come into play and try to help them out. So just ask. Honestly, that's my biggest thing. If you have any questions or concerns, ask, talk to the people that are out there Um you know, walking the streets, we know what's up, we know what's going on, um, and we'll all be straight up with you. Yeah, you know, um, with our with closing here, you know, I will I will completely agree with you. It's it's interesting. I've had more people from my church and other people from the community call me or email me about, oh, there's this guy over at Safeway Sequoia Station, or there's this guy over by uh, uh, Sports Basement or mm-hmm. whatever, and I and I feel so bad. I don't know what to do, and. Is there anybody doing anything? And I know these people personally, like you do, right? We, yeah. we we know our folks personally, right? And I could rattle off, oh yeah, he's he's connected to Life Moves. He's and he's already got a voucher working on housing, mm-hmm. or he's he's attached to mental health. Yes, we're taking care of him. He's we give him clothes and we take care of him. And and I've noticed that the tone of the conversation sometimes might start off kind of like, in the beginning, might start off kind of like, I just either they're help, they want to help or they just want the person to go away. But then after the conversation, they realize, wow, the, the, there's so much wrapped around this one person yeah. and people just don't know. And so I, I encourage the same thing. Just call, ask, just tell me who it is or what the person looks like in the area that they're standing in. And I guarantee you that they're, they've got services wrapped around them and that you just don't know. 100%. And in, in this city, I'll speak for Redwood City, there is not one homeless subject that we have not done any type of outreach with or anything or helped in one way or another. That's how aggressive we are here in this city, whether it's you, me, Life Moves, whoever, we're going out there, we're trying to help this person in one way, shape or form, right? Um, It's a process, you know, getting them off the street into shelter or getting them off the street into, you know, permanent housing or whatever. It's a process. Sometimes it can move quickly. Sometimes it could take a couple months. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and unfortunately, when it does take a couple months, yeah, you're, you're probably continuously going to see them on the street. But it's not to say that nothing's being done. Just like you said, there's 
there's probably a bunch of stuff that has happened in between and it's just a matter of time before hopefully we get that final positive result of getting that transition from the street to permanent housing um like i said sometimes it could happen very quickly sometimes it takes a while but i can assure you that here in redwood city we know who they are we're trying to help one way or another whether they want to receive the help or not we're still going to do what we do and, and try to help them out